Hello, this is Ron Hayes with The Blower Shop, and today we're going to talk about supercharger maintenance. One of our most frequent phone calls and questions is, how often should I change the oil in my supercharger and what other maintenance is necessary? So to answer that question, a lot just depends on how much use the supercharger is going to see. I'd really like to see it change once a year, but usually every other year is probably adequate. The biggest thing is to, first of all, maintain it's got proper oil level in there, and then just every couple of years change the oil again, depending on how much use you're gonna have. Now the question comes into how do we change the oil in the supercharger? This is sort of a worst case scenario. This is an older Mooningham, but as you can see, there's no sight glass or drain plug on the front cover. So the quick and easy way would be to remove this lower bolt on the snout and that you can drain the oil through there. And then as far as proper oil level, it's usually gonna be at this particular snout bolt and maybe just a little bit higher. It's a little bit on the low side. I usually like to see it just a slightly higher, about a quarter inch higher than that bolt. So the best way to remove the oil is to actually pull the whole front cover assembly off the supercharger. So with that, you're gonna remove these 10 bolts, pull the cover off and have a proper uh, oil catch pan to drain the oil. Now, if you don't have the luxury of having the supercharger on the bench and you're trying to do it in the vehicle or in the boat, one of the, one of the tricks is actually uh, tape a trash bag to the underneath side of the supercharger. So when you pull the front cover off, it's actually gonna catch the oil so that you can properly dispose of it afterwards. And that also will allow you to clean any residue gets everything else out of the front cover so that when you're putting clean oil in, you're not gonna have any contamination in there. So if you are gonna remove the front cover to drain the oil, we do recommend that you have all the proper gaskets ahead of time to make it easier to reinstall the front cover once you're done. So once everything's reinstalled, uh, you're gonna go ahead and fill it with oil. We're using a Pennzoil full synthetic 7590 gear oil, but any high quality gear oil is gonna be okay. Um, and again, it's going to take approximately 14 to 16 ounces in a standard root style 71 series supercharger. Now to make it easier, here at the blower shop, what we've done on our front covers is we're now machining our front cover with a drain plug already installed, and then we have our oil level and then the pressure relief valve. So this will allow you to real easily remove the drain plug, drain it quickly uh, for a much easier and cleaner um, oil change on the front of the gear case. Now, that takes care of the front of the supercharger. Now, what are we gonna do about the rear? Okay, here I've already removed the grease covers that are on the back, so typically all you're gonna do is pop off these grease covers. You wipe off and remove any of the excess old grease, and you just go ahead and repack the bearings uh, with a grease gun with a needle tip on there, and you can just put some more grease in there. Worst case, if you don't happen to have one of these grease guns with a tip on it, you can usually just use your finger and actually just push some grease in. It doesn't need to be fully packed with a lot of grease. You just need to make sure there's grease in the bearings. Now, one of the things to look for, this particular blower has a lot of fuel contamination on the grease, so um, this is obviously hasn't been changed in a long time. One of the other things to look at is if you can hold this in a race, and then you can actually see where I'm spinning the supercharger, but the bearing is not turning. That's telling me that we're starting to wear the shaft out where the shaft is now spun inside the bearing race. So that's a good indication that this supercharger needed to come in and for a rebuild having new bearings and most likely it's gonna need to have new shafts installed in the rotors um, for proper long-term usage. Okay, so there you go. Those were a few quick tips on how to properly maintain your supercharger. Thanks for watching.